everyone welcome to my channel so I have returned if it's not already out coming out um, just after this video is a video on where I've been and a bunch of updates so keep on the lookout for that but this came a little bit earlier and I hadn't quite finished that video but I couldn't wait so I wanted to see what is inside I do love this bird and here is the artist that did the artwork and unfortunately again there was a sticker right over top I couldn't even see the bird half of it so let's see what's inside lots of tissue paper of course I'm just going to grab paper out Okay, aqua pads, so hopefully something, wait, this is an October box, so hmm, maybe something inky, I'm going to not show these off yet, oh, well, I mean, we can see the artwork, but we're not going to look at what the materials are, so this is beautiful, and here's information about the artist as well as the artist's um, Instagram. And now I'm moving those out of the way so I don't get any spoilers. Okay, we got a half inch brush that doesn't want to come out. So <laughs> it was stuck in there for a second. But here is our brush. Side. I see some ink. It's orange! Orange, 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 orange. Yay! Oh, I'm just happy to have some orange. I mean, instantly, I know what I'm going to do with this orange. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, what type of ink is this? It's waterproof for paper or film. Do love that it's waterproof because that means this could be used even to make some um, lines underneath line work line work is the word I'm feeling better but my head got a little scrambled today still so okay got a king art pen I don't know what the M is Hmm. Ooh, that is thick. That's interesting. If I'm remembering correctly, I think this is waterproof. Again, I gotta double check. Oh, and we got another one. This one says L. Okay, what's that? Oh, oh my goodness. Well, that'll be interesting. I have some King Art pens that came in a set. I don't remember what box it was. <laughs> this one is 3mm. Okay, what? Oh, nice! So this is a chisel. So, yeah, all of those were like standard sizes and shapes. So what is this thing? Oh, okay. So we got this mini palette. Okay, for a moment, I could only feel one of these, and I thought it was contacts cases, which would have been funny. But it's so cute. It's so mini. Okay, what else? Oh, okay. <laughs> this is for ink line painting pen. Um, honestly, when I saw this end. If you've ever looked at um, Ukrainian eggs, we used to do them when I was younger. My grandmother went to Ukraine and learned about them, and then she taught my mother, and my mother shared it with us, and it used to be our Easter tradition, and I thought this was the thing where you put the wax in um, to draw on the egg. I actually thought it was that for a moment, but... This is going to be interesting. Okay, so I'm guessing this 
is going to go with our orange here. And I mean, come on. They're a little bit matching. Not exact, but pretty good. Okay, what else is in here? Oh, our sticker. Looks sort of like a honey pot to me. It's really cool. Oof. Okay. And we got some black India ink. Okay. That's going to be interesting. And is that it? Yep, that is it. Oops, sorry. I was trying to make sure that the dog was clear from under me, and I hit the stand instead. Okay, well, I know exactly what I'm going to do, but th these are very unfamiliar to me. I mean, these aren't, but these three things are. So what I'm going to do is I am going to get set up and we're going to test out how we use these supplies. Okay, so I already uncapped these and glad I did it off camera because I did struggle for a moment because they are twist cap. Good to know. But let's take a quick look at this massive thing. Okay, so when I started, I thought it was going to be super flexible, but it is stiff. For me to do that thick line, I am pushing down very hard. So, not as flexible as you might think. That was the L. Now we're going to go with the M. And it's still not very flexible, but... This almost felt like another tool I've been using a lot lately, which is this Tombow Fendusuke brush pen. It's not very flexible either. So this one sort of feels like that. And then we got the chisel. Pretty standard. Okay, now for the fun part. When you get it out, you can just uncap this. The other thing in the package is a cleaning tool, um, which I have already stashed because I was trying to play with it. Um, it's sort of bendy, so it's just one of those. Um, let's just put it away. Okay, so I'm going to fail putting a drop in. I got it on the side, so. Ooh, that's an awesome orange. Okay. This is me just carrying over the dots that I had. Oh, this is interesting. So I've been scared to try any tools like this because I thought I might have issues figuring out where they are. So I thought I'd be focusing eye line here, but it's actually not that hard to transition to looking at a different spot. I'm just going to do a little pumpkin doodle because I love pumpkin doodles and this is definitely something easy to do. And we have a pumpkin. Yay! I do love this orange. It's such incredible pumpkin color. And I'm not pressing that hard. I have to press a certain amount just to get everything flowing, but it's not that bad. Okay. Now, one thing I wanted to try. Random experiment. We'll see what happens. So, I had orange in there. I am not cleaning out. And I'm going to try putting black in there. And let's see. Oh... Uh, it did a tiny bit. So right around here, 
it sort of did transition, but it was really quick. So maybe there was just no time for them to sort of mix in the middle, which is fine. Okay. Now let's see. I'm not as good as doing quick bat sketches. We'll see if I'm able to do one. And of course, the moment I look up because it sounds like I have neighbors home. Can I get that tail in there? Because bats have adorable tails. And if you said, oh, people I haven't seen a bat tail. Well, I mean, people don't really um, show bat tails a lot. Okay. Let's see now <laughs> what happens when I mix them. Okay, so now there is black first. And now I put the orange in. Do, 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 do. Okay. I was actually really enjoying the sound of when I pressed really hard, so I had to take a moment and actually scale it back. Oh, it did. So this is actually the orange right now. It's almost turning brown. So if you want a little bit of a brown while you're using this box or using these materials, put black in first and orange and you will get a brown. It probably wasn't the best for the pen, but it seemed to survive me accidentally scribbling a little too hard. So now we have a very interesting brown color. I'm going to do one more check of it. Let's see if I add orange now. And since it's going to be probably brown first, I'm going to put it up here. Color my stem. Try to. Okay. I don't entirely like this going from this angle because it's a little harder for me to figure out where it is. But it seems like it's still a little bit on the brown side, but it's getting a little more orange in there. Go over here, trying to do some hatch work. It is not going the best right now. But you know what? I did it. It's fine. So definitely if you want to be lazy, what you can do is start with the oranges, get all those down, and then switch to the blacks unless you want this interesting color, which in all honesty is pretty cool. So I think I used up any everything in there, putting it off to the side. So that is the brown color it sort of developed versus the orange, then the black. So yeah, pretty interesting. The paper seems decently handling it so that's a good thing and it's very textured i don't think it's showing up on camera but it does have a cold press texture was this supposed to be cold press i don't remember i don't think it is let's check here do 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 Okay, these are not saying if they're waterproof or not. It just says it has a unique texture. Hmm. A little bit on the suspicious side, but oh well. Anyway, I do love how big of containers you get. <laughs> ah, 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 I or 
lived now. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, that's funny. Um, okay. Capping this. We don't need any more messes. Um, but that little bit, and I covered this page between the two of them. I mean, it does not seem like I used any of the black at all. Very minimal of the orange. And look at all I did, and I'm making more of a mess. Ah! Okay. I'm going to get the artwork set up, and I'm not going to be talking during that portion. Enjoy all of the sounds of creating this artwork, and then I will see you on the other side. So here is the final piece and yeah, I tried to make sure that I ran with some things. The smearing across um, wasn't entirely planned. I had one person tell me that it looked like fog and I showed another person and they're like, oh, it's a veil. So ended up working out. Definitely, if you want to do something like this, do it this order in which you do all the black first and then do the orange. Because honestly, then you're going to really have that orange stand out a lot more. And I did figure out what happened with the first one. So here was the first fail attempt, and what I figured out was that the black ink was, like, you you can see areas in which it was almost repelling, and then this whole line, that's where some of the orange was. So it was actually being attracted to the other ink. And that's what ended up happening. I'm sort of disappointed because I absolutely loved how the background looked on this one. And I wish I could have had that deep of orange 
on this other one. Here, let me put them side to side. So just, just so you can see, this is so much lighter, whereas this is so much darker. And definitely for that, it was a little bit hard to show on camera. I didn't think about it until about an hour after I did it that I should have moved my camera. But <laughs> basically, I was getting it to pull at the top and then upright and then I was tapping it down and definitely was a difficult thing to do. Um, each of the ways I had to almost get it started and I was really worried over here with the bat if it was going to follow but it didn't follow at all which was good. So yeah I really I really was having fun with the box. Um, yeah, I'm just so glad I didn't break this because, oh my goodness, I would have been upset. It's intact. It's working fine. After I thought I broke it, this all went fine. So, yeah, <laughs> it was just weird um, attraction between the two inks, which is very interesting <laughs> um and another weird thing i was just at a point where i'm like these are so cool i want to buy more and it seems like these two are supposed to be the same type i mean if you look at them they look like they're the same type and then if you look at the card they call them the same, but when I was trying to look for more, because I mean, if I run out of this, I'm going to want more orange. There was not orange in the type of the black. Now, I had only looked on Blick so far, but it seems like the black, this the type that these two are supposed to be, there is... A black, a blue, um, and not many other colors. And then the only orange I was finding was, I looked different, so I'm not entirely sure. But I definitely think I would have rather had another color than to have these. I mean, I'm glad these are different than a lot of my liner pens, which, yes, it's good. They're waterproof. Fantastic. I'm hoping to be using a lot of gouache and watercolor this October. So, yeah, that's great. But at the same time, I'm just like, oh, these are also waterproof. These are also... Um, and coming with something that I can do line work with. I mean, yes, there was a brush that you could use, and it it works. It's just I think I would have preferred another color. I mean, I cannot deny I love orange, and having orange has made me super happy, and a little bit why I was sad when I thought. I broke this because I was like, yes, let's use it. October 1st is coming up. Let's go. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm just like, okay, yay, I have orange. And then I have black. So with how trying to draw over the other ink didn't quite go as planned, I'm now wondering how these go other and like draw over other materials so that's something I'm gonna have to check on but if you tend to do line work first super easy works really well it would work out just fine but I think that's going to be a lot of a personal preference I do like to have more color I I don't like it when boxes have, hey, we're going to put one color, 
but we're going to give you multiple sources of black. I mean, I would have been a little bit mollified if these were gray instead of black, but what can you do? Other than that, I loved being able to try this. <laughs> um, definitely was really fun. It was very odd to be doing this on paper when I associate something like this being with um, decorating eggs. So that was really cool. Paintbrush. Oops. Pretty decent. It's a paintbrush. One thing I suggest is um, maybe designating a um, brush to these because when I was trying to clean this off it ended up almost making like a film almost like it was acrylic so I don't know if you'd want to use one of your watercolor brushes with it it might cause a little issue so just a fair warning and, and some might criticize the fact that they did teeny tiny palette but I think it's great sort of like the brush, I'm not sure if you'd want to use a watercolor brush because I was having issues cleaning the ink off of things. Um, definitely having a small little palette de um, designated just for this stuff is a great idea. Only reason I don't have any stains on this right now is because the moment I used it and turned off the camera, I went straight to the sink and cleaned it just because I've had so many inks stained palettes and I'm just like, I, I don't need another stained palette. Okay, so that's everything for the sketch box. I do have a scrawler box on its way. Um, so if you're interested in seeing that as well as some comparison between boxes, please make sure to subscribe. I am also posting more on Instagram, so there is a link down below to my Instagram that you can check out, and I will be posting more videos soon, and I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a bat-tastic day. Bye!